if I'm going to text her. Yeah, a bit of history in uh, Jackson. Yeah. Uh, Davy Croc, Davy Croc, get a bit of a sore loser, won't he? Made a stop here in Jackson, Tennessee. To yes. visit the Rockabilly, the International Rockabilly Hall of Fame and Museum. And if we think this is the Jackson in the Johnny Cash song. Yeah, I think so. Because it's the closest one to Nashville. We'll have to listen to his lyrics and yeah. uh, plus the mention Tennessee. And yeah. Oh, I see how this written on it. It's Paul McCartney. That's supposed to be on the right. Wink Martindale. Wink Martindale, the WHBQ. DJ and uh, well, he had a hit in '63 in Britain, didn't he? Went Martin to Martin do with a deck of cards. Huh? So, this is a stage here that I assume they have uh, that Rockabilly Festival at. We've got a blue, blue suede shoes walkway here, look. Mr. Blue Suede Shoes Walkway. Mr. Blue Suede Shoes Walkway. Oh, I hope this is safe. Reggie Churchill, booking agent, promoter, and manager. Not for all those, surely. It's quite a clientele if that was. It's uh, still Next, it's in there. A stage. Ah, oh, still is a stage. Rockabilly tribute sculpture. The museum's right here in downtown Jackson. It's uh, not too bad to find, and it's free parking outside. Eh? Well, it says two hour parking. I can't see a meter, so I'm hoping it's. Uh, so we'll find out if we come out and there's a clamp on it. Oh, it's WS Fluke Holland, drummer. Son. Uh, George Klein tribute up there, I guess. What? Oh, what? Oh, is it? Turn to light, nearly turn to light. Oh, it's frightened me then. I know for Close to 11, I thought it back. Okay, we'll hang around, being it's only 10 minutes. Take a stroll down uh, Have a look at downtown Jackson in a minute. Yeah. So, quick update on the Rockabilly. Hall of Fame in the doorway, I had a sign in the top right of the doorway window saying um, closed, please call back and at the time 11, 11 o'clock so we walked around the block, went and got a coffee so we've come back here 10 past 11 and it's still locked and then we noticed the other sign in the middle of the door which we, I don't know why we don't look at the middle of uh, door frames when you're looking at signs but uh, it's actually closed from that building, so I guess it's pretty recent because uh, all the window decals are still there and there still seems to be stuff inside as well, but um, it says the Rockabilly Hall of Museum, Rockabilly Hall of Fame and Museum has now moved um, to the Carnegie building on East College Street and it's open Tuesday to Saturday and today is Monday, so uh, so we've driven down to Jackson, we've got a picture of the mural, but that's, and a cup of coffee, that's about it. So we'll just drive back up 
towards the country store now and just try and find uh, the Carl Perkins historical marker and then carry on our way. So we come back up to North Jackson by the interstate for the old country store because because in the car park here is the historical marker for Carl Perkins called the Rockabilly King and a rock and roll architect, singer-songwriter Carl Perkins was born in Lake County on April 9th, 1932. In 1955 he wrote and recorded the celebrated rock and roll classic Blue Suede Shoes. A powerful artist, he influenced numerous popular musicians including Elvis Presley, Johnny Cash, Patsy Cline, Jimi Hendrix, The Beatles, Bob Dylan, Winona Judd and Garth Brooks. Perkins was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 1987. He was entombed in the mausoleum at Ridgecrest Cemetery after his death on January 19th, 1998. Strong advocate for the prevention of child abuse, Carl Perkins worked with the Jackson Exchange Club to establish the first centre for the prevention of child abuse in Tennessee and the fourth in the nation. Also here, the old country store location is uh, the home of Casey Jones. This is the house where John Luther Jones was living at the time of his death at the throttle of his engine, old 382, at Vaughan, Mississippi, April 30th, 1900. A folk song has immortalised his name. All the switchmen knew by the engine's moans that the man at the throttle was Casey Jones. few little things you can see and do here when you stop, but uh, not least in here of course, the old uh, country store. Hi, how you doing? Good, thank you. Ooh, you? Doing bad, thank the Lord. Bit cooler today. Yes, it is, beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> the old ice cream soda shop, shakes fountain sodas, oh, and cool uh, retro signs, Royal Crown Cola. Broadcasting a radio show from here. Shakes. Oh, you still got the shake. Oh, right, the shake right. sign. Sorry. Shake sign. Dixie Cafe. It's got the Casey Jones Museum across the way. I think you've got a page to go on that train. Have you? Come climb aboard engine number 382 and ring the engine bell. Region's largest train store. Yeah, here they got the, the farm at Casey Jones Village. Oh, they're not in the best of health. Uh, I don't know if there's, uh, if they have like the barbecues, the cookouts, or whatever down here, or the garden displays or garden competitions. It's a little quiet area though. Oh, there they've got the Casey Jones Village Chapel. Got a Casey Jones Mini Golf. Yeah, a lot of pools there, but... I don't think that's been uh, played on for a while, though. In God We Trust, shops of Casey Jones. Thank you. 